morning peeps. Yep, tea time. It's Thursday and it's time to drink some tea. Okay, this one, do you see that? Stephanie, random reviews with Stephanie gave me this a long time ago. And I've been using it, but somehow it never comes out on Thursdays. So I made sure it came out this Thursday. And this, of course, is a tea ball one, and the bee just makes me laugh. So, but. This is not a new tea. I think I've shown it to you before. Um, but I'm trying to finish up still some teas that I had. This one is strawberry orange peach. And I'm trying to get it done. And the reason I don't care for it, it has green ruibos. Now to me, ruibos tastes like weeds. Then it has orange peel, marigold petals, dried strawberries and natural flavorings. So it kind of tastes like weeds to me. But it is what it is. I had to show you this this morning. <laughs> I went to coffee as normal with Le Brother and Renda, and she's torturing me about my birthday is what she's doing. Anyways, she got me this whole bag full of, can you see that? Paper clips. <laughs> is that not the cutest thing ever? I have some similar, but they're gold. But these are, this whole bag is full of pink paper clips. Anyways, I thought that was funny. Apparently they were torturing me the other day and I didn't even notice. They had, my sister had put some of the pink paper clips on her shirt and I didn't notice. How bad is that? I wonder if you can do that. Would it, would it make a good decoration? It's coming up that I'm going to, you can't even see it. It's coming up that I'm going to get these nails shortened. I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't know who thought this would be a good idea. And I don't know how I used to live with them this long, but it severely hampers my life. Never mind. TMI. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to show you, I got a picture frame for 99 cents from the first store I work at. And I framed a postcard that I had gotten from Kelly Kell's Kitchen. I just really loved that postcard and I thought I want to set it out. So I got me a picture frame. What do you think? I thought it was cool. 99 cents. Yes, please. Okay. So if you have been watching my shorts, we have a new um, kitten that has showed up at our house, and I thought I would explain it, so in case you wanted to know how we ended up with a strange, very young kitten at our place. We're not sure, but I'll try to explain it the best as I can. Oh, that needs sugar. Um, so, my sister went to town. And she went to different sundry places, and none of them were where you would think there would be cats of any kind because it's like the grocery store, that type of thing. And she came home and then she went to get in her car and go somewhere again and she kept hearing a cat howling and it sounded like it was inside her car. So the brother went out and this kitten had gotten up in the wheel well, wheel well somewhere and he put gloves on and dug him out. The kitten's wild as all get out and so you let it go and it's running around and it's kind of staying under my sister's tiny house. We don't know where it came from or what it was doing in her car. It's just a conundrum. But so we have this little black kitten, which my granddaughter has named Oreo. So we will start. I'm, I'm just kind of showing you videos of trying to get it tamed down because it's wild as all get out. Anyway. So that's all about Oreo. Just thought I'd give you an update so you knew why I'm posting pictures of a unknown cat or kitten, whatever. I like animals. 
Um, Brenda has claimed him as her own, which is good because I'd probably want to bring it in the house and we're not doing that again. Not, not doing it. So, but I get to go and help her try to tame it down. Eat sugar. Ugh. Quit drinking that. Just stop. Okay. The other thing I did is, um, we haven't really had much jewelry come in, but we did have a couple pieces come in and I thought I would share you what I did with them. That's not very exciting this time, but I'll show you. You can skip through it if you want to. So I'll put that clip up and be right back. Okay, this is our projects for today. These two are very easy. Um, I really think this is too heavy for the chain, but it's a nice rock and I keep thinking somebody would buy it if it was hooked to a chain. So we're just going to put one of these stainless steel chains I got from BB Craft on here. I really think it should have a heavier one. And of course, somebody thought it was smart to have long nails and this is really the pits. Hopefully they will be changed here very soon. Because I can't even, lobster claws are nice nigh on to impossible to do anything with. Can you see this? Okay, I will hook it later when you're not watching. But, like I said, I think it's really too light of a chain, but it might would help it sail. We'll see. Too long to hook it. This one doesn't really match it, but again, we have this interesting cartouche looking thing that is not selling and I you know I can understand because I don't think that if I had if I liked it I would want something on it I mean I don't like taking my chains off and on maybe some people do that I don't I don't know why we end up with a lot of stuff like this like I said it's a little bit light for it but I think it's far enough away that it should be okay. What do you think? Anyway, so that should help it sell. These stainless steel steel stainless steel chains from BB Craft have been awesome. Um, I'm going to be sorry when they run out. I may have to go on and buy some more just because, but these have been great. Um, I don't know, it doesn't really say on here what size they are, but this is from BB Craft. I got this um, in a sponsored haul from them. So these have been great, but I think that that will get them by and get them sold. Now we have this that came in and it's actually kind of pretty. It's not really my taste, but it's kind of pretty. But again, the chain is missing and it's not selling. So, we also had this come in. I don't get it. Apparently nobody in this area does either because it is not selling. Now this chain, I think will go wonderfully with this. And I think we'll sell it if we swap the chain. Now I can't just take it off because this this is a really thick hoop. So we are going to just remove this um, jump ring here. Now what we do with stuff like this that doesn't move, but somebody could use parts of it for another project, we have a jar that we fill up. And that's what we will end up doing is putting it into that jar. And hopefully somebody will find a use for it. And I don't have my light really close enough to see where the the jump is which is kind of tragic well I know how to take care of that really quick oh that's a tough one it does not want to break
That's a strong jump ring. Let's see if we can get it off without, there we go, it came off. Okay, so this will go in our junk jar for somebody who crafters come in and buy the junk jar that has pieces of jewelry that with no matching parts and they use it for different things. Um, I don't understand this. I'm not into sugar skulls and the likes, so I'm sure somebody would like it, but we aren't finding them at our thrift store. So we're gonna put that in the junk jar. This says etc. on it. I don't know if that's a good chain or not, but I do believe it's going to look relatively nice on this charm here so and I think this will fit into this hole and as you see we had 99 cents on it and it wasn't even going for that so I think we will be able to do a better price on it with this on the 99 cents will come off and we'll get something a little better out of it so what do you think I think this is a much better fit. <laughs> Just my opinion. I think somebody will like it and it'll sell. We'll have to see. But that was it. My repairs for this week from Cross Threads. I keep forgetting to ask. Do you even want to see this stuff or would you rather not? Anyways. Okay, that was it. I will be off and whatever this goes in, you can go and see. I'll just shut up and let him go. Like I said, not very exciting. Um, people do get excited and buy them when they look different. So somehow in the baggies, nobody wants to buy them. They just sit there. And so I've been trying to help get rid of some of this stuff and remodel. Definitely remodel. <laughs> Anyways got a ton of snail mail. I'm so excited, but maybe it'll go up tomorrow. I'm behind. Anyways, that's it, peeps. I hope this finds you absolutely amazing. Stay blessed. Until next time. Hey, you made it to the end. Please hit like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.